In this topic, we'll learn about how to shrink volume on Windows Server 2012. Is there a need to shrink Windows volume? You may wonder why someone will want to shrink a Windows volume. One reason would be if you have a large hard drive and some space to spare. It may make sense to create more than one volume on this hard drive to separate system files and installed programs from personal files. Then you can shrink volume to free up some unallocated space with which you can create new volume. Another reason is that when you want to install another operating system such as Linux but do not have enough free space to create a new partition for it. In this scenario, you need to shrink volume to generate unallocated space. Click on Server Manager, then click on Tools, and then click on Computer Management, and then click on Disk Management. Right click the volume you want to work with and then select shrink volume option click on it in the top of dialog box enter the amount that you want to shrink for example after that you will see an unallocated space right next to the volume click on shrink 500 mb unallocated the size of the available shrink space can be restricted by the amount of space currently allocated to one the hard drive that as to say you can shrink a volume only up to half of the free space you cannot shrink a volume beyond the point where an movable file is located right click on it and then click on new simple volume then click on next assign the following drive later click on next Choose whether you want to format this volume and if so what settings you want to use. File system NTFS, allocation unit size default, volume label, new volume. Click on next and click on finish.